So far, we have done single-handed strikes. So let's look at the two-handed strikes, and I highly encourage you to work this into your sparring and uh, any of your practice because you develop tremendous power. Depending on your positioning, this can really make a big difference. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at one of the most useful ones, which is a two-handed backhand. So notice I'm not gonna have, both. I can put both hands on the stick, but it, it actually binds me up a little bit to have this left hand here. Instead, I'm gonna put it on my right hand. If I have a stick in my right hand, I'm gonna put it on my wrist here, and I'm gonna use this as an assist to throw it out. Now here is what we have to be very aware of. When I come in here and I get a full power turn for this, watch that. Whiff, I just missed. I'm pretty close, look, I can hit it. I do that full power shot and I turn and I miss because that connection of my hands actually shortens the length of the stick or how far I can reach. So what are we gonna do? We have to be very disciplined to not just swing here, but to actually throw this out. We throw it forward. The hands coming this way, not all, all the way rotationally. We're going straight into it a bit. We're going, oh, and then we rotate through. So you go right here, rotate. So that way, where if I went here, notice I'm missing, I'm same position, now I can hit. And it's, even if they block it, it's an eye opener for them. Like, uh, you know what? Maybe I don't wanna mess with this right now. So that's one place to do it. So that's on the backhand side notice. Backhand's easy because it's going backhand, my other hand is there, very easy. It's in a very strong structural position to push and assist with it. You can do this high, you can do it middle, you can go at the legs with it, and I would highly encourage you to go for the groin shot also. Not when you're doing competitions where there are rules about that, but to practice that groin shot as well. You can also take it all the way vertically down. So we're looking on the backhand side. We can go from that eight, we can do the two, we can do four, we can do six. This is a good rip right there. You can also go all the way to the seven, that low seven. Now, how about the other side? How about going forehand? Well, what you're gonna find is again, it's gonna shorten the distance you can reach. So in, if I hit here and I can reach, and I put the second hand on, you see I can't quite reach. It's not, this is a solid shot. I put the second hand on, I just shortened my reach. But it's very, very good, especially for low shots. If you get somebody bent over and you go, you can really get a good shot right there. Instead of just dropping down, you can use that second hand to assist. So sometimes when you're practicing, work that here, work it in here as well. What you're gonna find though, when you say an uppercut, diagonal up, it's not gonna work very well. It's just gonna get in your way. But when you're going down, eight from the open side, a one, a three, these, you can pop, add an extra pop in there, but it's the range. You wouldn't do it from out here and go here, you're probably gonna miss. But if, especially when you're stepping back, you're in here and you're gonna go all the way back, you can get that good shot on the way out. Now, let's go to the thrusts. Two-handed thrust here. When we put that two-handed thrust in, this really adds so much to the, to the thrust. Two things it does. One, instead of just your right arm, if you're right-handed, and your hip and all going in, now I have a little extra with that left hand, much like shoveling, right? You ever try to shovel with one hand? Very difficult. You grab with the second, and now it's so much stronger because I get all that sort of a pulling, almost like you're doing a back fist. You're just ripping using your lat. It's very strong motion. The other thing it does, it helps stabilize the tip. When we thrust, one thing that happens is, even though my hand is in good line, if the tip wanders just a bit, by the time it gets up to the target, it's gonna miss. It wanders this way a little bit, I missed. That two hand, it both now are guiding it in there and you have a much better chance of hitting the target. But of course, again, two-handed shot, it means that we have to be closer. 
we have to be closer on this two-handed shot here. So generally, one hand, regular thrusting position, palms here, other hand, palm up, and you just turn and get your whole body into it, okay? The backhand side doesn't make any sense, just unless you switch and you go this way, but generally not switching uh, in the middle of a stick fight. Generally, there are times. Now, last one, we're gonna do the two-handed slam. Two-handed slam, I'm here, for whatever reason, I got, I got in, I'm very close. If I jab here, it's not gonna be stable. You see how it's moving? I'm, I'm too close. There are things we're gonna do later in here with a slash in some of the, in one of the uh, four counts. You're gonna see, we're gonna get a lot of power from right here with a slash. But right here, if we're in, you know, maybe I go puño and all, but it's, kind of, it's cramped. So we simply grab the other end, and now you have a very, very strong blow from in tight there. And that is unexpected by most people. And if you're in here fighting boom, like this, most people aren't gonna be able to deal with it. If their hands are up, of course it doesn't work. If one hand's slightly up, you can also diagonal it. You don't have to go straight, you can use a diagonal as well. So you can work that into your practice going here or here. Okay. But basically, it's just a two-handed bench pressing sort of motion, but ballistic, and you whack them with that two-hand slam. So that is the two-handed shots from the slashes, from the backhand is the most popular and the most powerful because it, it just structurally works so well. You can do forehand, two-handed strikes as well. You can work that two-handed thrust and you have the two-handed slam. We'll be working all of that.